It's Friday! <laughs> you missed us. I know you did. I would miss us. Definitely. I know. And we switched sides. The, I needed something dark behind me. Because I know, but you're always pushing me out of the frame now. I'm going to have to be like this. Guess what's <laughs> under my arm? <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> Where did you get these necklaces? Betty got me a gift. I can't believe it. You I never get me gifts. Now, don't lean too far forward because you oh. can't see it. There. Today, my old friend Carl Howard dropped by, and he was my roommate in the 70s in San Francisco. At and the Castro. At, in the Castro. We lived in this kind of a commune apartment, and Carl was the flower child with long flowing hair and little round glasses. What does he look like now? <laughs> he's an old man. He's 60. A little bit of a gut. <laughs> a little well, you know, and he's got a Half white goatee, and, uh, and he still enjoys sucking cock. And oh, I, you know, and, but he also is thinking of giving up partner sex. And he said, how come on your website everything is upbeat and positive? Sex is dangerous. It can be dangerous mm -hmm. if you have sex the way American culture defines sex, where it's vaginal penetration and ejaculation. Yes, then that can be dangerous. What about all the diseases? But you know what I think sometimes, like, you go to the gym, uh, you use the showers, you might get a foot fungus. How so often? What? <laughs> Little athlete's foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? It isn't going to kill you. Herpes. Gonna, herpes. <laughs> I mean, if you don't, in back in the 70s, if you didn't have herpes, we felt sorry for you. It meant you weren't having enough You're sex. You're a loser. <laughs> and what I said to him is that all the things you mentioned, which was what we just, the list. Pregnancy. Unwanted STDs, pregnancy. You know, all of that. All the things that can happen to you as a result of, of sex. And, he's, and I said, all of that, all of, all of the things that you have complained about, are the result of sexual repression, not the result of sexual expression. Because if you're not inhibited and you can have fun with sex, you know how to do it, and you know how to do it in a way that no, there's no harm. And you've practiced it. I was just going to say, it's not, oh, you can have a sexual experience with someone and have no risk at all, and you both can have something really exciting and a fantasy and all. There are ways yes. to have sex. It's not just about missionary penetration, ejaculation. The penis in the vagina, the penis <laughs> in the asshole. I mean, There's really. so much more. I mean, especially now, like, webcam sex. Love that. Dirty chat. That's fun. Mutual masturbation. Dry Books. humping. Let me tell you, in junior high, dry humping was fun. <gasps> I love dancing it. with my boyfriend, and I could feel his yeah. erection coming oh, up. And, you just and like then I'd get it. over on it, and we'd press into it, and it was like, oh, yeah. And you'd rub your clit on it. You know yes, what I mean? no, it was, it it was, was arousal. The whole dance was about arousal. I feel like we don't have enough arousal and seduction in our culture. It's no, just like, no, no, no. <laughs> right to the pussy. No, what we do is we, we go out to dinner. <laughs> Get our big bellies full, and we go back to or to the hotel or the apartment or the house, and it's like you know we're supposed now we're supposed to have sex, and all I want to do is <laughs> fart and go to bed. Exactly. <laughs> I'm plagued with UTIs. That's a urinary tract infection and a vaginal itch every time I have sex with a partner. Any suggestions? I get this all the time. You know, vag so what is it? Vaginal itch, chlamydia, which I never heard of. I mean. I, we didn't have that. Uh, it's, I had chlamydia once. You had it already. Yeah, so. it's not a big deal. You just take an antibiotic. It's just kind of like bacteria starts growing and it just you oh, get a little gross. itchy. Yeah, you're itchy. Okay, so now I thought it was just from the good sex because I was thinking about it for three days and oh. I was like, itch, itch. <laughs> so you got down there and kind of worked it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that felt good too. <laughs> I mean, the, you can't drink enough cranberry juice. Uh, you can't. Uh, the douching, you know. The douching doesn't do anything. It's sitting just in cold water, water, putting yogurt there. I mean, all of the different things that you do. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Take a, a, a take one of the um, lactobacillus capsules that has, you know, and acidophilus. Mm -hmm. Get it up a inside. A lot of acidophilus. Get yeah. it up inside your pussy. And a lot of times that will work, but this, I, it just wasn't working. It wasn't working. It's kind of, and this is when I first got together with Eric. And my problem was that <laughs> I'm in my early 70s, mm -hmm. and I know I'm too old to be fucking, you know, so it's like, and it's kind of embarrassing. I go around with these. You had to go to that time, like, well, I just picked up a 22 year old lover. Um, and then I got this itch. Could you help me out? Congratulations is what. <laughs> Did you just slap on the back? Congratulations that there's something happening there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I think it's also important to always have, and I say this all the time, cotton 
underwear. I did have a boyfriend and I'd never had a yeast infection before him and we had sex the you know we finally did the AIDS test and we're having unprotected blah 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 and I got a yeast infection immediately and what I found is he was like a production guy and his hands were always kind of like his cuticles were a little dirty so I had him really wash his hands and clean them um, and wash his dick every time we would have sex like right before and guys you know that's really appreciated manicured you can't have oh, hang nails yes, and please they, it's hard the cuticles then you're trying to play with our clitoris stick your fingers in oh that's the worst can't handle it <laughs> that's why a lot of women don't want you to touch their clitorises because your mm -hmm. fingers are rough and you've got kind of now one thing I have to say about Eric oh it's he's, beautiful oh his hands are he's gorgeous oiled he's always <laughs> putting lotion on it sex can be dangerous sex can also be orgasmic and that it's the whole thing about sexual energy is that it is it is the creative life force and so I see every orgasm I have going out into the universe as a positive I think so too don't you think let's go send up some positive energy <laughs> I think we're gonna go masturbate <laughs>